Okay, welcome to part two of our tic-tac-toe game using a board class. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have so far. If we run the terminal, we've basically, we have created a board class and we've initialized it to be blank because when we start the game there's nothing in there. And we have created a class method where we display the board. And then outside the class definition, we created the board uh, instance of the board and we displayed it. So let's uh, go from there and make a move. Okay. So what I want to do is I've created the board and what I want to do is I want to create a function called uh, print header and it's going to be very simple. We can, you can make it look nicer. Welcome to tick tack toe and I'm going to use forward slash n just to get an extra carriage return in there. So there's a little space between that. And then I'm going to create another function called define refresh screen. What that's going to do is I'm going to clear the screen. So OS dot system, because I'll be doing this quite a lot. Uh, I spelled it right this time, clear, I hope. I'm going to print the header. So I've created a function here, so I can just do that, print header. And then I'm going to show the board. And that's going to be board.display. Because again, this is a an instance of a class, and we have this class method called display. So I am going to uh, go from there. And then what I'm going to do is I can type refresh screen make sure all this works 1e preferably and see what happens okay so we got our header we've got our tic-tac-toe board and we're good to go so now what we want to do is we want to create a loop so our game keeps going so we've done this before uh, so while true so the first thing I want to do in my while loop actually is refresh the screen. So I'm going to put that in there. Make sure it's indented. Okay. And let's get down a few here. So refresh the screen. And basically what I want to do is, you know, when we start the game, we're going to keep it simple. Um, X always goes first. So I'm going to get uh, X input. Again, we're going to keep this as simple as possible. So I'm going to say x choice equals int raw input. So we'll, again, skip down a line. X, you know, please choose one to nine. It look nice. Period. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So what that's going to do is it's going to get raw inputs. I'm going to enter one through nine. And it's going to convert that to an int. I think I'm going to need an extra parenthesis down here. And then that is where my x is going to go. So now, what we got to do is we got to create a, another method in our board. And so, let's board. What I want to do is I'm going to call it, I'm going to board update. I use the word cell. You can use box or whatever works for you. So I'm going to say in x choice. So in I'm going to send an x. Okay. So in cell one or five, whatever, I want to put x. So that's not my player. Okay. So in my class definition, it's going to be called the same thing. So update cell. And remember, we always use self because it is a, an, a class. So, so I can say cell number, makes sense, and player. So if you recall, down here, I'm going to be sending my x choice, which is a number from 1 to 9. And my player, in this case, is x. So what I can do, then it's very simple. So self dot cells, so I'm using this. Cell, oops, cell, because it is 
a list cell number equals player. Does that make sense? So cell number, so I enter, let's say I enter five. I'm player X, capital X. Cell number is five, player is capital X. So soft cell, or self cells, not soft cell. Zero, one, two, three, four, five is gonna become X. Okay, so let's try it and see what happens. So I'm going to enter 5, and there's my x. Enter 1, enter 9, etc., okay, etc. Et okay, so that's working pretty well. Uh, now let's try the same thing uh, with O. And so I'm just, again, making my life easy, I'm just going to copy that. It's essentially the same code. So I'm going to say I'm going to get the O input, so O choice, let's change it all to O's, and make sure you change that, that's very important, that's capital O. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so X goes 5. Now notice it didn't update here, okay, so we're not seeing any differences, so let me hit 1 here and see what happens. Okay, now it's doing it. Okay, the reason is, you just gotta be careful with all your, your code, is I updated the cell here, okay? But that doesn't actually update the display or anything. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna use my refresh screen function. So, oops. So it refreshes the screen, gets the X choice, updates the board in the memory, refreshes the screen, gets the O choice, and goes goes on and on. So let's run it. Okay, so let's try it. So X is five. Okay, O is one. X is three. Now here's something interesting. Let's say I try X O should go to five. Now there's already X in there. What's going to happen? It overwrites it. Okay, so we have to do something to stop that from happening. Okay. So basically what we got to do is I can only go into a space, I can only go into a cell if the cell is empty. And now we're using space. So I'm going to close that. So in my update function, what I'm going to say is if self.cells cell number equals, or two equals signs, space. If it equals space, it will put it in. If it doesn't, it will just skip it. Again, we're going to keep it simple. We could alert the player, give them another chance, complicates the program a bit. Um, but for now, let's just try this. Okay, so five, one, uh, three. Now I'm going to try five again because there's something already in there. Notice. It just it didn't do anything. It just skipped it. So if you enter the wrong number, you lose your chance. So that's a pretty strict rule. Okay. So let's recap what we've done here. We have figured out how to actually update our board. Okay. We've created a class method called update cell, and so the cell number so one two three four five six seven eight nine player is capital X or capital O. So those are our two players. And we've checked here, if the cell is equals a space, because that's what we're using for a blank space. If it equals blank, then I can put that into my uh, list here. And then we display the list inside of our refresh screen method. Okay, so that is that.